Hey y'all, Shafni Nicole here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you an in-depth tutorial on the lasso tool. Now, the lasso tool is one of the most important tools that you will use in good notes to digital plan so if you're ready to learn more about that good old lasso tool then keep on watching hey y'all welcome back so let's get into the lasso tool and we're gonna go over the many different things that it can do and how it can help you digital plan better and that is the lasso tool um, you can wrap around it and then you can cut and paste your anything somewhere else doesn't matter if it's text um, your handwriting highlighter an image it doesn't matter you can cut and paste it somewhere else the next thing you can do with your lasso tool if you tap there you can also copy this text and paste it again you can also delete text you can also make it a different color like that you can take a screenshot of this if you wanted to and i'm going to show you how i use screenshots in my planner you can also add this to your elements tool also if i wanted to convert hello i can convert it um to text that's a cool thing also that you could do see the last thing on this bar right here once you lasso around something and tap on it you can resize and this can be with text images pngs that doesn't matter oops doesn't matter you can do that with the lasso tool okay so let's get a widget so i'm going to go out of this real quick and i'm going to go to my widget sets and i'm going to bring one up okay so now i have this widget set here so this is something else that you can do with the lasso tool which is cool i'm going to take this sticker here I'm going to press down on it and it's going to come up. I'm going to shift it and you see I can move it with me. And then I'm going to tap on my tab. Whoops, I didn't tap on the tab. <laughs> tap on the tab and then I'm going to bring this over. So you saw that I dropped that in there. Since we're getting into the month of April, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I use the lasso tool to uh, put the numbers in my calendar. I'm going to take my lasso tool and I'm going to lasso around all of these numbers like that. So make sure when you press down, it comes up like that. And then you shift. Then I'm going to go back to my planner tab. And then I'm going to drop them in like this. Then I'm going to just resize all my numbers at the same time like that. And I'm going to keep mine that small. So then I'm going to do it one by one like this. And this is going to save you so Oops, so much time doing it this way instead of going one by one. And I'll finish that later, but there's something else I want to show you. Next thing I'm going to show you is some other features of the lasso tool that are really, really cool. Uh, let's bring over a sticker. Okay, so I'm going to bring that sticker over. And I'm going to keep it this big so you can see what I'm doing. And let's write on it. Okay, so now I wrote on it. Now let's say that I want to move my writing. So I want to go and I want to just move this writing here, but I can't move it because it's moving the sticker along with it. So there is a fix to this, and this is when the lasso tool comes in really, really handy when you're planning. So we're going to go to the lasso tool and we're going to tap on it. You now see these four lit up selections here. You have handwriting, images, text boxes, and comments. So in order for us just to move the text, we're gonna turn off the images. So now we can just move the text around. And this is the same thing for either you wanting just to move the images around. You can just turn off the text box, um, um, I'm sorry, the handwriting and the text boxes, and you can just move, whoops, this around. 
Now, another thing that you can do with the lasso tool, which is very, very cool. So we're um, taking screenshots. So I'm gonna show you what I do to take a screenshot. Let's say that we wanna just cover up this habit tracker because we wanna use it for something else because we use um, the weekly habit tracker. I just want to use it for a notes box or something. I'm just gonna take a piece of this to-do banner. So I'm gonna just lasso a piece, it doesn't matter how big, I can just do like a little circle, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna tap on it and you see that take screenshot comes up. I'm gonna tap on take screenshot and it's gonna come up as a square anyway. So now I'm gonna tap on my share button and then I'm gonna copy this. Then I can press down and paste. I can cover that up and now I can use that piece for something else. I don't even have to continue to have the habit tracker. So this is another way you can use the lasso tool. This comes in so handy and you can change your spreads around anytime you like, anytime you'd like. So it's so beneficial. The lasso tool is so beneficial. I'm gonna show you one more thing and then we'll be done. Let's say that we have this sticker here. Let's say we put this sticker here, but we wanted to create a, a little box here for this to just, you know, change it up, spice it up. And I'm sorry if you're hearing the, the, the cars. I live right on the street and it's hard and it's like the main street. So it's hard for me to record anything um, that's probably why I never started a YouTube channel because of this situation, um, but we're going to make it work. So again, I apologize for the noise, but I'll try to eliminate as much of it as I possibly can. So now we see that our plant is covered up and we don't want our plant to be covered up. So this is what we do. We take the lasso tool and we lasso a piece of that and you see it pops back up but we can't just stop there we can't just do that and then tap off of it it's not going to work that way so what we're going to do is we're going to lasso around it tap on it and we're going to cut it and then we're going to paste it back and now it will show up on the top so anytime this happens to your stickers that is the um, process that you'll go through you can get creative with this it's your creativity doing this is endless. You can even, if you wanted to change any of your titles, you can do that. Okay, I, I changed my titles. So now I can add in some more spiffier ones if I wanted to, or wanted to do like cursive, I could do that. Check that out, it's gone. You can't even see it. I even um, actually changed this. So this was appointments and what I did was I just took a piece and I changed it and then I just used the same font and I typed over it. Now, if you wanna use a different font, you can. You can change the font of all of these. It's up to you what you wanna do. Your creativity with digital planning is so endless. Like you could do so many things digital planning. So that is the conclusion of this video. Those are all the things that I wanted to show you about the lasso tool. And if you have any more questions, do not hesitate to send me a message, um, leave it in the comments and I will answer your question. Thank you for tuning into this video. And again, I hope you find it helpful and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.